Hi everybody. So it's week four, the final week. Remember that last week I told you that a PhD student must be prepared for unforeseen events? Well, after I recorded that video, my previous handler told me that I needed to fix some stuff on the old apartment and that my cleaners didn't do a good job over there. And not only that, after being ditched by my cleaners a second time, the previous handler told me that I had only four days to fix everything. So I spent three entire days cleaning and fixing the apartment with the help of good friends. Three days that I could have been working on my PhD. Fortunately, I had worked in advance on preparing a pitch for an important meeting for next week, and thus I could afford not working for three days. So yes, we must be prepared for unforeseen events. Uh, anyway, on this week, since it's my final week doing this vlog, I decided to talk about things that I've learned while doing my PhD so far, but not only in academic terms. So let's start. Well, I think that in academic terms, the most important thing that I learned here so far was how to identify bad papers and write good ones. It's funny because I have written papers before and because they were eventually accepted, I thought they were good enough. But my supervisor here pointed me to some basic flaws that I was unaware of, like missing stats when dealing with related work. And because of that, I could easily identify bad papers and discard them while doing my literature review and thus saving lots of time. The other important thing is still going on. I am learning how to express myself better in English every day. During the PhD, you have important meetings where you need to be concise and clear. And the good thing about here is that everybody I have met so far was kind enough to allow me to take my time when I get nervous or clumsy with the words. Apart from academia, what else can I mention? Well, you need friends. And that's funny because I moved from another country, so making friends can be hard, as I mentioned before. But you need friends not only to help distracting you for, from the PhD, but also to help you with tips and guidance for the PhD as well. When I did my bachelor in computer science, we used to say that we couldn't graduate alone, and that's also somehow true for the PhD. Uni here offers some social groups where we can sign up and meet like-minded people. We have social groups for PhDs, but most of my friends come from international people or the LGBT group. Also, you will need funding. I am fortunate enough to have scholarships, but a PhD here in Australia is really expensive. So, before applying to a PhD, you need to consider how you will fund it. You might have to apply for a scholarship or even write a research project and submit it to a funding organization. And that's all I have to say. It was good to film this vlog and the vlog experience is another one that I can put on the list of things that I did for the first time here in Australia. I hope some of you found my tips and advice useful and if someone decides to apply for a PhD after seeing this, good luck. It is a hard work experience but it's still a good one, especially if you do a PhD abroad. Bye.